loves and welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to be taking you guys behind the scenes as well as sharing with you guys some important tips when it comes to finding out trying out and even designing your perfect wedding dress i'm going to be taking you guys along with me on my own personal journey to finding my perfect wedding dress so if you are interested then you definitely want to stick around and then let's get right into it all right love so again welcome to this wedding series i'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of the making the exploring the inspiring the drawing of my wedding dress and hopefully someone gets inspired i'm not going to sound like i'm an expert when it comes to wedding dresses and styling and fashion okay, but um the first thing i want you to figure out when it comes to even testing out or even trying out or you know fitting out a dress or designing your own dress it's to first of all find or decide on your own style you need to figure out what your personal style is and what i mean by that is what you're most comfortable with your comfort affects your memory it affects how you feel it affects you know how you react on that day whether it's too tight whether you're not comfortable with it whether it's too revealing it's not revealing enough you can't walk like you need to find out your style and think of it in a long-term perspective because again it is a lifetime commitment it's a lifetime memory so you want that memory to always be something that you can reflect on and be like oh yeah that was good <laughs> you know so yeah that that's one point i'm gonna um hammer on figure out what your style is figure out what you're comfortable with and run with it so you know something that i think that is very important if you're someone who is clueless is to find and search for inspirations trust me i had a, i had like a, i'll probably leave the link to my pinterest board <laughs> i was searching for inspiration and the funny thing now about um, search engines social media is that when you search for one thing similar results keeps popping up on your feed constantly and definitely look for inspiration i'll definitely leave all mine down in the comment section Find out what your inspiration is and run with it. Okay, so another fun thing when it comes to buying, designing, or finding your perfect wedding dress is trying on dresses. This kind of gives you idea of what you might want to look like. So definitely feel free, feel open to trying out dresses, trying out different styles, seeing how they work for you and on you that is so important because sometimes we think that um, we think we might look good in something and then when we try it on we're looking totally different or when we try it on we're so uncomfortable Okay, so you definitely want to have a list of wedding gowns, wedding dresses, designers, or even stores at the same time if you guys have that available. But here in Nigeria, our wedding stores are a little bit limited in terms of options, right? I mean, we have a decent amount, but they are limited. So you do want to kind of check those ones out, but also kind of look and search for designers that are good at designing wedding dresses it is so important to specialize to pick designers that have specialized in that field and in that niche because they kind of know what they're doing that makes sense and to make consultations or to even walk into the store if you want to buy or try on dresses so make consultations with designers share with them what your inspirations are share with them what your budget is again most designers that i reached out to they kind of all had um similar similar rates the prices were from i think two thousand or is it one five to about four thousand dollars there are about that's that's our rate depending on the style that you want some people want their dresses embellished with beads that takes time that takes weeks sometimes even months so 
I mean, the more complicated your dress is, the more expensive it's going to be. That's just the honest truth. So yeah, um, make consultations, you know, have one-on-one -on -one, um, consultations with maybe one or two designers if you can. You can do that over the phone. You can do that physically. You can do that on Zoom. However, it is, you know, whatever is convenient for you, definitely do that. Get some insights, share your own ideas and fears and thoughts because trust me, I was clueless and yeah, letting them know that I was clueless, but this is my style kind of made it easier to work with and work on at the same time so most designers would most likely work with your measurement if you're if you're working with a designer that's based overseas you definitely want to take your measurement this is going to be very important you don't more you do not want to take your measurements by yourself don't do that don't do that don't even test yourself don't even think about it there's nothing as frustrating as you know making your dress and then not having it being your size and then having to alter it over and over again so yeah take your measurements and make sure you get the best and the most accurate get someone who is professional to do it for you see fittings 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 anybody that tells you that you don't need to do fittings um you definitely want to go for fittings there's you i cannot even stress this you definitely want to go for fittings and if you can it is highly advisable to go with someone else because most times you can't see things yourself um even if you can't see things yourself you might not be able to express it in the most appropriate way or just have a second or third eye it's so important um you may not see the back properly somebody else might see your back I went for my fittings at least twice um, at a point we're contemplating on whether to bid it at this side or well, it's just clean and leave it like this because when they add pearls like strategic places you have like huge pearls like that okay, can we? Let me show this. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. the clean look is okay the dress is already like okay no, yeah it's enough there is because it's like a pickable effect so it's not taken away it's just under you get what i mean it's, yeah. it's here it's there and it's there that's all so you're so gonna put like on this on other here. side as well i will yeah, that's what i'm saying like literally it doesn't remove anything from the simple or the clean look that you're trying to achieve if you ask me This looks like an afterthought at the end, at the end of the day. Yep. Uh, yeah, it looks like an afterthought. So kind of go for fitting, see what works for you. That's where you get the chance to take things out, add things in. <laughs> if you want to make some adjustments, you know, even scrap the whole dress entirely. If you know, yeah, because yeah. Like I said previously, this dress was designed by our best man. 
and he sent it over to the designer Mai and he drew had it like a sketch and it definitely worked so this is it um, this dress is a I don't even know how to explain it it's very simple very regal very classy very minimal still very elegant this I would like to say it's, it came in like a three-piece the veil and the um, the train <laughs> The trend so I definitely wanted something that like I said you need to find out what your style is I'm someone who ah oh god if you watched my traditional wedding dress I'll leave the link up here so you guys can see so yeah I wanted something that I could easily switch up <laughs> like get like five looks in one if that makes sense I could easily switch up I could remodify again this dress is not zipped all the way up because I do need assistance when it comes to zipping it up so that's why it's a bit loose but with this I can drop this down as an off shoulder and I could also put this back it has an elastic here and turn this into like a semi off shoulder thing going on but then it kind of also covers my chest area so this is kind of what i had going on when i went into church and when i came out get it got into my style i'm gonna get the train the train is the hardest part because this thing is huge okay this thing is huge and it's heavy it does have a slit as you guys can see on this side and when i have the train on sorry you can barely even see the slits because it's covered whoa yeah this is how this is how much it is <laughs> i need help <laughs> but i definitely love the fact that it is detachable I can pull it out whenever i want put it back I can also transform this into maybe a dress a jacket or something repurpose it later if that makes sense like but yeah with this you can hardly ever see the slits on the side until I pop out my leg and then blah, blah, boom show amazing beautiful skin skin yes so this is definitely my style and like this I look like a church girl and like this I look like Kelly Chimbanana <laughs> but this is the dress I'm just going to turn the back so you guys can have a have a feel of what the back looks like you know make this I can take it out and feel free so okay so now let's talk about styling and accessorizing now in case you guys have watched my um, bridal makeup tutorial I'll leave it the link here so you guys can check it out in case you haven't seen it um, I pretty much went for something very clean and very neutral trend changes and you don't want to look like a trend on your wedding day especially with makeup i remember like five six years ago um box brows were trending highlighting your eyebrows with one bright concealer shade was trending it was a trend now it's no longer a trend now, um i used this as my accessory so in terms of accessorizing i wanted to stick to pearls as opposed to stones because i just find pearls to be more um exquisite they are effortless but they are there you get that makes sense so i have one i have i have three tiaras and like three hair clips <laughs> i'm probably never going to use it just another one here uh, and another one here at the same time so i'm just gonna put this one on just because I never really got to try it out. <laughs> I'm not sure why I wanted a tiara. Nah, this definitely wouldn't have gone with my style. So yeah, this is what it is. You can figure out how you want your hair accessorized. But I went with something very sleek and simple at the back. And yeah, that's what we went for. Yeah, and also when it came to earrings, I also use pearled earrings. Um, I can't find them here. I brought them in here. But for my shoes, um, oh my God, these were probably the best decision that I made for my wedding. Um, I got my my wedding shoes from Bella Belle. Not sure if you guys have heard of it. They make 
amazing bridal shoes um i got mine in ivory so it went well with my dress I actually bought two bridal shoes because i couldn't decide each cost me about 300 dollars what they look like they are both pearled and they are both simple but definitely different styles and designs now this was the one that i wore on the wedding day because this was a popular <laughs> this was selected by popular uh, opinion a lot of people preferred this one over this one so i ended up going with this one and got so in terms of comfort this shoe was like 9.8 out of 10. it was so comfortable to walk with to strut with to wear all day and look at the back let me just show you guys the back let me i've worn this shoe more than i don't know how many times i've worn this after the wedding just because of the fact that it is so comfortable i've never worn this one so i can't really judge or tell it's still brand new i highly recommend this shoe or this brand if if you guys are interested they make amazing shoes but also comfortable shoes it is so important that you're comfortable the mistake that i made in my trad was um i i got shoes they were beautiful i can't even lie my problem with it was i was not comfortable at all i could not dance i could not walk i could not move i was like what the hell but they looked good and i took nice pictures but i wasn't comfortable and that's something i wasn't going to trade comfort was something i'm like you know i need to be comfortable i want to walk i want to be smiling i don't want to feel like my legs are cramping up these that it was like i was wearing slippers with heels and i don't know if that makes sense but it was so comfortable it's even inside even inside i can even feel it like it is padded like the, the cushion in here it is padded so definitely look at something that is very functional still within your budget but also complements what you're wearing this for me was it so everything like i said was basically ivory silk and you know pearls if that makes sense try as much as possible to leave everything down below in the description box as well as the links the vendors that i used for the dress and all of that as well as the wedding i'll leave the link to the wedding video here in case you guys haven't checked it out check it out what's the behind the scenes i mean this was probably the most lit wedding for 2021 it was a freaking vibe check it out um i also take you guys behind the scenes as well in that video yeah that is it guys um i hope you guys enjoy this video i tried to kind of take you guys along with me on this journey of finding out my perfect dress designing it out styling fitting and then wearing it and looking good on my wedding day yeah that subscribe to my channel it is totally free fun educative informative everything basically i love to have you here so stick around with me let's have fun let's create magic let's learn let's produce let's create Leave my link right here so you guys can subscribe because it is totally free join the family and more importantly i will leave my wedding playlist so you guys can get updated in case you guys are planning your your, your big day subscribe <laughs> like share comment and i'll see you guys in the next one over here so again bye guys let's go